Um, the TA was removed. Morphling, okay, another mobile, like non-committal type hero. I don't love it as much as the TA, but the, obviously there, that was banned for a reason. Team Spirit thought it was a bigger threat as well. And we're seeing more Tide Hunter. Of course, we did see Falcons playing it the other day, but that was because I believe Amar had every hero banned. But yeah, the rise of this hero is Mira. Oh, nice. Should be a first dead. blood. Can they give it to TA2000? They Double might have that luxury. Grenades. Oh, he misses. Just take it in. But the call is first blood death. It was a PhD quest. It was two dual breaths and two blood grenades to secure it, though. So that means. In yeah, this lane is very easy for him. He will well, 16 continue for to... 6 against 7 for 1. I mean, I'd... he will not be pushed out of this. Yeah, lane. that's it. Like, once it's kind of gone this good at the start, you, you don't really turn this sort of lane around. No. You probably couldn't anyway, because now it's just it's difficult as oh they might even just get another kill onto Ducalis. I think they will. All right, well collapse. He's been set up for a very easy game with this sort of start here, thanks to the plays of Mira. That's already I believe two anchor smash kills, right? So he's gonna have the the Kraken shall swell. So the cucumber. So looking at bot also troll is free farming so far. They're slowing down the brewmaster. So two lanes going very well for the side of spirit. Of course, we see mid. It's gonna be I think this rotation top. Good start here, but yeah, rotation top quickly. Maposhka. I mean, Dekalis is another one. Definitely dead. Uh, Tier 2000 is gonna be lucky to just be able to walk away from this one. He's looking over towards collapse, but there's no chance of uh, tackling this tide. But we can't touch the tide right now. Oh, he didn't have the Kraken shell yet. Sorry, so he doesn't actually get the benefit from it. My bad. Laurel. Pretty tanky. The remnant pullback. Well, he's got a fairy fire. He's gonna get the toss. I mean, teams so coming in. Lars gonna be able to walk out alive. They turn. They take out Ducalis. Oh, this ability is just ridiculous. <laughs> he just took so much, and they tip Ducalis. How many deaths Dude, is they, that on him? That's I was gonna great. say, Mira, Mira's really trying. Mira, to get... he's been busy getting these ready for Laurel, who already has a successful lane. All three cores at the top. And supports having a dream time. Batrider overall not really having much impact. Omar unable to take abuse of. Him with the Brewmaster to put any pressure. They want to dive this to Remnant. We'll get thrown down to try and keep the cover yeah. safe. But there we go. Toss. Toss comes in. And indeed, Lal. It. The crash landing. He's got amp damage too. So the damage from it is ridiculous. Yeah. That's true. It, but it, it was that it anyway, looked probably. mega busted there because of the it's early yeah, game. It went wrong really for, for PSG Quest. What, what did they expect to happen or get out of a lane setup that they just did not? I think they expected this bottom lane to be able to apply more pressure to the troll, but it just has not happened. And now Lyra already has blink. And he's in. They're going to try and see if they can burst through the brute. Yeah, they've got the bushwhack control. Can they kill him off in time? They can. Malik not able to get the split off there with the lockdown that Spirit have. Hey, right, Laurel might just go for more. Still has the blink. He's got an illusion rune. See if he's able to get it blind. He is straight in on top of Ducalis. Easy kill. Another toss, another kill. Seven to one. 5k lead here for Spirit so far. Gonna see some crazy timings. We've got to check out. I, I believe the pipe timing, that's got to be quite Radiance quite a fast one, right? Collapse. What, 13 minutes, pipes He's out. Got it done. Are we able to get the check on that? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, we haven't seen a that's, lot, a lot of time. Fastest. But yeah, uh, no, no, there. Okay, it's only been two matches, but still. Fastest by quite some time. And as I was saying, yeah, this is a great game for the pipe. Malik this time should be able to get the split off if he wants to. So they, they can get something out of this one. The splits out. They're looking towards Law. They jump in. The burst from the waveform. Is it enough? He's getting low. He's getting low for the Ravage. Don't collapse. He just turns up and he turns it around. Oh, this game. I think it's, th it's 13 minutes, but it feels like they've already run out of options. Uh oh. Oh, oh. goodness. Malik is he even getting out. Can they get him with a bushwhack? Oh, they want to dive. Oh, they they want to dive. They've got the stunt. They've got the toss. I. You show up with everything. You can't even kill the Titan. You see it, of course, this game, but it's very good this game versus the Morph and the Void Spirit as well, too. He hasn't had to go it yet. He queues it up right afterwards. It is phenomenal as it's a picture perfect game for Team Spirit. And just keeping the ball rolling. Laurel just playing as aggressive as possible. He doesn't feel any threat. TA2000 turns into the Tiny. It's caught by the Ravage. Collapses in, locks him down. That's the Morph dead. And they crash landing. And they ping the crack. Kraken swell. He's at 14. Being, being extremely humble. But PSG Quest, they did get heroes they want. I just, yeah, the, the lanes is really, I think top lane getting these like little kills that they got into Kallus and onto the morph compounded massively. And then they weren't able to actually make an aggressive blue bottom ever on Troll. Troll free farm. And Malik, uh, he's just got no recovery. They, they, none of them have recovery. There really is. 
not much that they can do. Just get Midas's. Hope that Spirit throws. Uh, I mean, they got what they want, but what you want isn't always what's best for you, you know? That's I want a burger fries true. and a chocolate like... bar. It ain't good for me. <laughs> Maybe they wanted these heroes, but they just, they weren't good for them. Because it's certainly looking like that. It's a rough one here. Oh, my. Goodbye, my friend. Get to oh, I need How's the... Uh, we, have we got the Midas online yet? Bounty. It's nearly there. Almost. If they make this comeback, this will be the biggest comeback of the tournament. This will be the biggest comeback of Dota, Dota, Dota history. Hey, there's the beginning there's of the comeback. One. The five position down. They're, They're putting down it. Hey, do, you can see. Radiant oh. are scanning. Uh. Okay. He'll TP an inch away to his tower, and he's going to get Ghana. Oh, that. can you get the split off? He can if he wants to. Oh, he hesitated. Oh, he still gets it off, though. The hesitation was not punished. He's still able to split and run away. Back to the base, back to the base. and run. Tier three. Here we go. See, Pierce, your quest. Can they pull together one sort of team fight around the high ground? Well, they used their Bruce split. That was their team fight. Oh, and they go. Lal, ready to dive. Tier four gets the toss back on the Jakiro. Carlos is out. Tier three's gone. But we're just 19 and a half minutes in, and Team Spirit, they're looking to take the barracks and not a lot has been done in by PSG quest it's just talking about next game what went wrong how it went wrong etc because yeah this one done and dusted from early on spirit speeding things up you know they've said a couple oh, times that they like to play slow but this is not one of those games. It into this farewell on to the next on to the next on to the next kill on to the next game GG is called well there you have it team spirit Shellacking. Yeah, this is this is the kind of team spirit that's uh, in, in a form to win the whole tournament. You know, they turn up, they make this game look easy. We've had some stomps on the main stage, but this may have been the stompiest of stomps. Yep, absolutely. Ooh. Stay crushed. So now for Spirit, I feel like you need a hero that either allows you to tempo up the game and like force some stuff at 20, 25 minutes, or you go for a Naga counter that can play against heroes jumping you. That's I'm good. not sure exactly what it is. I would have potentially liked a Zeus earlier. Oh, I feel like the centaur was a little bit too prevented. Um, Cause I do think Zeus is good against what quests have, but, but not a also... great one either versus the centaur. That high base damage, oh, 90 so. damage on the centaur to 58 of the clinks. We're seeing it. those extra bit of denies coming out from Malik, and Miposhka could be dead here. Can he run away from this one? He cannot. The Inks while stun comes out. First blood. PSG quest over in the river. Mira Zero. comes up the rotation to find Noob. Noob will be able to bottle up a water rune. In fact, he's able to turn and look to take down Mira. He'll get the kill. Will cost him the li his life though as Lyle's able to get the cleanup after it all. So, so. Mira. They're going to try and set something up, but he's off the mark with the bushwhack. And now they're going to turn straight over towards him. But the Inks, well, they're going to be able to kill him off no problem. Mira, a bit of a they collapse. They've got the net, got the TP. See if they can body block off his escape as well easily. They can get the power strike in. Right, Noob. Noob. There we go. He's certainly making it look like a hot start so far in the mid sanking. Had a great lane. Now already picking up three kills in his first eight minutes. And I believe he does have a couple stacks as well, too, to be able to continue that farm going. All right. Should be ready to pop the skill point into the Doom if he sees an opportunity to go for a, a kill with it. They know where Tier 2000 is here with Illusions. Again, Catch. They're going to get him with the Bushwhack. Follow-up stun. They'll put the Stampede to try and get Tier 2000 out of there. Jump forward for low. Can he get that 50. last bit of burst? And he can. The Arc Lightning comes through. Tier 2000 taken and out. Doom. He'll happily drop the Why Doom not? down to secure a second kill. They've already got the big one. They're happy to find a bit of a bonus. Setups there and Lyle cleans up the double. Naga Siren's not getting much of anything. Radon is getting the farm on the Clink's bottom. Even though Sanking's getting good farm, I mean, Tier 2000 just getting next to nothing. Noob, he's got to make some moves when he's got that blink, and they got to hit hard. Him and Malik. That's why the, t yeah, the Naga Siren catches back up, so I do like this move. Who are they going to find? They're going to get my posture. Yeah. Settle for the support, especially if it means they can get the tower on top of it. That's a good kill. Noob, seem to be having that good time. And I think he, okay, this is cool too. He's just leaving the lane. He's gonna wait for the bounty or the power rune too, so Malik can finish this one off and he can keep it. Eternal Shroud too. was finished, so they're looking to play around this timing. But look at Spirit. Since they saw this smoke, they're super ready. Maposhka potentially trying to bait. Surely he dies for this. Can they really bail him out of it? They're gonna try and fight back. Maybe they can save Maposhka for now. He will finally fall. Pipe on pipe. They're gonna look for kills in return, though. The stampede comes to an end. They're ready to charge down Malik. Malik. 
The song comes out from TA2000. It's going to give them time to reset. Maybe even because they're back in. in. They're pretty grouped up. Oh, this Malik, is He's stepping forward. He's having the Hoostop out of the two, and then the Bar Strike follows oh, as well. Beautiful. They're going to pop the back lines. This is going to be an easy cleanup here for PSG Quest as they take down all four. I love that Malik went pipe, and TA2000 shows up at the perfect time. They tank through everything. The push TA2000 can just play with this team every single time as well. They essentially have that five heroes. And yeah, pipe versus Deuce. Very effective. Armor done. Done. But I'm with the dust. They're not bringing any follow-up damage. They are. They've got the and stampede the and the soul bind. They're under the two of them. They're gonna make the jump. Radon's gone, and now they can look over towards Collapse, maybe. We've got my push Grimira by his side. Push one will come out to catch on to Malik. They are keeping Collapse pretty pretty alive against all this damage coming out, but Collapse, can he continue to survive? How is he soul? alive? I don't know. He's, he's he doesn't alive. alive. Okay. I think PSG quite, I think everyone expected Collapse to go down there, but the Auras came into play. He heals up. Doesn't die into the tier two. And team's the great. They're able to turn that around and get a double for lol. Hey, he had this cloak last one, but this time it seems like he can tank How did they pretty much everything. Yeah. How was there not enough damage to kill that dude? That was that was crazy. I look at the, the damage numbers look so pathetic. Find something a bit easier and more. Here is the one who's been found. Guaranteed, but indeed. Now in the mid, they get the jump point, and Mira's going to be able to hold him back with the HR. He's opting for the TP out. He's away before Malik gets him with the Hoostop. The Poshka, no way he gets will get left behind. They can close in. Barra strikes to stop the TP. They'll take the Sven. Guess maybe it was just a smoke to try to get information from them there. The Clink's one, so maybe they could actually look for something here. I, I really think for a collapse, it's going to be all up to him how they're able to, if they can actually ever get these dooms on these crucial targets, that's pretty much going to be the dictator of if Spirit's going to be able to control and get this back, get this game back into favor for themselves. So far, the SG Quest just feels like it's a lot easier for them to make the jumps and make the moves. Radan. Oh. He has BKB. They've got Dust. They're going to see him after the song comes to an end. They're in on top of him. He's going to put the BKB and try and run away from all of this. Now go for the TP. Nope. Not going to make it. Too many heroes beating into him. Radan will fall, but the Wisdom Rune was taken. Now it. Play with Mango if you have one that's gone off a bit. It's well, not so. Yeah, I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> Mira, they want to jump oh, inside the base. Straight in, Noob. He goes for it. They'll get it. That's Mira gone. Collapse. And collapse, maybe. He's He's out of the base. There's a stomp, and indeed, we'll see if we can keep us cool and not need to pop the BKB. He's got now the seal totem. With the ink swell. Anyway, the seal totem. I'm gonna bounce when time. The pressure coming in down the mid, though. PSG Quest, they'll get the tier two. In 40 Ooh. seconds. But tier 2000 did have to be careful. Good timing for him to silver edge away. Because he can die if he gets isolated. They do have damage. It just can they ever find him. Ooh. Is he going to stick around for his creep camp tier 2000? <laughs> he is, but Team Spirit, they have turned their attention over towards Dekalus instead. They'll drop They'll the throw down the for him. Here's Quest is going to look for this Absolutely. fight. Absolutely, Soulbind in the Hoostom. They're going to get the jump straight in over towards Mira. Now they're on top of Radan. He's going to put the BKB and try and run. See if they can catch him. He's rooted. Yeah, he can indeed. They've got him with the ensnare. Who follows up with the Boris strike. That's Radan gone for 80 seconds. They're using the songs to see if they can catch out anyone else. But as it is, the rest of Team Spirit are able to keep far enough away. Still, though, 75 seconds, they might have to try and hold up the defenses without their carry. Now they can go. Yeah, now they can potentially start to poke that high ground. Of course, the Zeus is alive, but if Laurel is not careful, he could just get jumped and popped. As soon as the Doom gets used, it's just PSG Quest. Yeah, like, let's go. On top of them. Instantly go for them. I've got to be careful on this high ground as well. Noob won't be too afraid of going in for a jump burrow strike if he sees the chance to. And in he, there we go. Straight over towards Maposhka. Finds himself a spam. Maposhka's gone. He's going to have to use the buyback straight away, lol. Jumping in very aggressively, he wants to impressive. start the right clicks to, to try and scare them off. It's kind of working. The BKBs are he coming does. out from both sides. He definitely Burr strikes away. I mean, yeah, Lal just no fear there on, on him as he just leaves. They want to try and take a fight around this potential Roshan respawn time. Mm -hmm. And if they can ever get the, let's see if he can ever find the Doom, because as you mentioned, the buybacks, are they at the ready? Mm. Noob is... The TA2000 is 400 short. He's close. If they get a kill, they'll have enough money in the team fight. They're going to spot things out of the two salt. Collapse is going to try and find his target. He's in. He's going to drop the Doom down on towards the Sensor. Now they turn over towards Noob. Lal, it's right clicking pretty Jeez. hard, but Noob's able to put the cheese back up to full HP. The song from TA2000 used as an effort to reset the fight and find the chance to get on top of the squishies. They're going to look towards the Zeus straight away. In with the Burrow Strike. They make the jump over towards Lal. Take him down. A lot of Noob damage coming out from Rodan as he's able to turn. Take Noob out. But Malik's in on top of him with the Hoostop. They close in on the Clink to bring Rodan down as well. 
well. Now they can turn over towards Collapse. Buy Pitch Press trying to clean them up one by one, but indeed the buyback from both Lal and Radan coming in. Noob also potting over towards the Siege Creep. He's got the Pyro Strike on towards Maposhka. Maposhka's gone. That's going to be Collapse out for good. And the same to be said here for Maposhka and for Mira. The three of them dead without buyback. They had to just choose, I guess, the Centaur to go for that Doom, but then it, he's just able to get the song and reset things and get a pretty ideal situation from TA2000. They just now they get the rush. If you, don't, if you don't Doom the Centaur, they Stampede and run. If you Doom the... Yeah, it's, just, it's tough, right? It's it just, as we see, Collapse, you can't get that good Doom target that wants to build the hands are both, both of them. No, for sure. Yeah, he kind of he did what he needed to do, but when you're down 20k, even if you're able to make the correct moves, the team fights are not going to be easy, and we're seeing that here. See if Radan and Lal can keep this game alive. They're going to have to wait, as I say, 40 seconds or so until their teammates are back up. And overall, to be honest with you, Ducalis is doing quite a bit more work than Mira is able to. It is, of course, they have this advantage, so he's sure. able to do stuff like that. But this Ench, I know almost solo killed the Doom, if I wasn't mistaken there. Those Impetus were just flying on top of him. And I think he almost killed the Clinks with the one stun. One stun into the eight Impetuses or something like that. As Spirit it's super tanky writes this in charge. So BKB yeah. Hurricane Pike is also getting this Eternal Shroud sent out to him next. Spirit have endured for a long time they throughout have. this game, but it's it's just impossible for them to have a successful team. Can Spirit pull together some incredible level of defense? It's going to be have, have to be one of the finest that we've seen this tournament. They're down 36k. PSG Quest. All the tools to be able to close this one up. Collapse. He's stepping up. They'll go immediately for him. They've got the burst. They're in with the burrow strike. Collapses out. 575 gold short of buyback. It's just down to the four of them on Team Spirit to try and continue this hole. Push coming in to Carlos. He's the tower the range racks. Yeah, he's the objective taker. And turn over towards the melee. And they're going to realize pretty soon there's no buyback available on the Doom. Alex going to get it with the jump. He gets the who's stopping onto the two of them. They get the catch and on the Lal. Lal's gone. Noob will lose the Aegis, but with that jump, the job should be done here for PSG Quest as Radan caught on the retreat back to base. He's also it. out without buyback. Very nice. Great fight. Hex comes out. They jump Laurel. They completely 100 to 0 him and the Doom the moment that they show. Now they should be able to close this one out. Took them a while. 43,000 gold lead, but now the three cores are gone. The couriers, the shenanigans. They're to trying to, to cut the waves. They really are. Maposh just got outside the base. He's got five back. As we said, the other three, they do not. 30 seconds until Collapse is back in. Lyle and Radan, their buyback still on cooldown for the entirety of their death. PSG Quest. They're onto the tier fours, looking to close it up. They get another jump in onto Maposhka. We'll get back towards the fountain. The backdoor protection kicks in. Where's the nearest creep wave? Well, top lane. Amira's oh, cutting it. Malik's trying to bring in the mid. They can't, ki they can't kill it through backdoor protection. No, but there's 70 seconds until the main two do come back, so. And the mid lane's coming in. Should be able to force the issue here once those creeps come in. And the backdoor protection's gone. Collapses up. They've got to try and do something crazy with the three of them if they want to stop it. Noob's already made the jump over towards them. They get collapsed with the Hex. They're able to burst through him before he can get the BKB off or anything off. He's gone. GG is called. PSG Quest will push it to a game three. Very well played. It, this was a very team win in particular, right, from the side of PSG Quest. I feel like the macro game this time around was beautiful. Of course, there's some nice individual stuff to point out. Malik not dying at all in this This game. is also a lot about feel. Like, your last picking, you're going to take whatever you're vibing. Oh, yeah, that guy clears illusions. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't necessarily think of it as a collapse hero. He actually hasn't played it yet, this event. Uh, in theory, very good. Maybe someone else will do it later, but anyway. We'll have to see what he can do, because he does have good spells to steal versus the Sanking, versus the Jakiro, even versus that Pango. Could definitely see Mira get some really good ones. Well, we have Mira's win right there, at least. Okay. It. So, indeed, he himself has not been uh, winning more than losing. Cool. Top lane. Oh, no, First blood actually found here by Radar. You can just constantly use this kind of clear to deal with some illusions, but I don't know if we'll see that. It's a very niche kind of item, and Collapse. Steps up a bit far here. Might be in trouble this time round. They've got the ensnare to set the things Carlos. up. They're out with the illusions. Collapse. Can he run away from this? Another dual breath thrown down by Decalis. Decalis. He goes down first. first. The collapse. He will de indeed go down in return. Top lane. Radan. Oh, good stop there from Maposhka. He's going to be able to hold Omar and Big Malik damage. back. And Radan, he's considering getting some hits back in. Turns back towards the two of them. Omar, a couple of punches coming in from Maposhka. They bring the hoodwink down. Might even be able to get a second one. The damage does wear off, though, on that spirit. Yeah. Perfect stomp. Absolutely there. Maposhka for the beautiful Less hold of the Spirit lane. with this lineup is just going to run them over in 20 minutes, which I think is unlikely uh, with their heroes. 
I, I think it's, it's going to be expected that this Naga Siren is going to get farmed, right? Yeah, but they do have, right, they have the Ember. That's why they went for it, right? So this itemization, you can go, you can go Gleipner, you can play very aggressive. And ET, as the game progresses, ET becomes better and better versus Naga Siren because of just of that aura. Trying to get in with the setup here. The Spirit's going to have a fair bit of right click. My posture ready to start slapping into Dakalis. Dakalis goes here. down. Nice time. Excellent power strike out for two of them. They'll get the double kill from Mira. Stomp comes out to hold back the Sun King. He gets the Courier too. I mean, can, he he, can, can he find Mirror as well? The Stinger comes out. So Noob gets the double, but Spirit, but that aggression, they were able to take TO2000 out of the lane. Slowing down his farm. I mean, similar to last time, but yeah, Noob definitely seeing the separation between him and the Ember, having a great rotation and a good lane. So about a thousand gold ahead already, just off of that one. I believe you've had some stacks to farm as well, if I'm not mistaken, so did get. Enabled even more, oh, Omar, with the amp damage. Set him a bit. Indeed, that amp oh, damage my. absolutely helping them have enough to get the kill throughout the duration of those two stuns. The, the Stinger and the Caustic just 100 to 0 him, pretty much. This game can get... I, I hope this game does go late stages, because this game has so much exciting kind of team fight that's coming out from both sides, just explosive ones in particular, from the side of PSG Quest a little bit more, but the potential of ET, I feel like we've not seen it so much now into the main stage as well, because it keeps getting banned. Oh, they got the damage to take a collapse this time with the Might bushwhack and Acorn Shot coming in from Omar. It's enough to bring him down. They'll lose to Carlos in return. But it's PSG Quest taking out the core. Feels like Omar's everywhere. Somehow he's only 1-1-1, one, one, and one, but I feel like I've seen him in all three lanes multiple times already. They're definitely forcing reactions at the least. Yeah. And uh, attempts Stealing the stacks too. Yeah, very nice move. I mean, Noob. He's playing this picture perfect right now. 3 0 and 1 and incredibly aggressive. Look how fast he's moving. Absolutely. And it's a big catch as well. Straight oh, on to Redan. The Sand King. I mean, you said after that, that previous game performance, you're adding, adding it to the list of heroes that you say, Noob, put him on. He's going to have a good time. Oh, yeah. This game, he's, he's heating it up even more. This is he's level 10. Even faster. He's keeping up with the game clock. Now I can make a move on him. They do have the stun stolen. Maybe overplaying his hand a little bit here, Noob. Can he get out of this? Posh is going to try and run him down, but Omar Malik there to hold him what back. Nice they get the ice path and the macro pie down onto the two of them. Team Spirit, they're still going to try and push on. They look towards Malik. Catch him in the opening stun with the Primal split out. They'll have the damage to bring the Pango down. Mira having the spell steal. Collapse can catch anything more. The chase out onto Ducalis. Can he pull him back? He's trying to. He will to get him back. It's under the tier two. Noob is here. It comes to an end. It's a little bit deep for them to die for the moment. Now they're ready to turn. Noob jumps back in with the Boris Strike. They kill off Mira. A little bit Sorry, yeah, picture perfect Beautiful. start on the Sand King this game, Noob. They're going again. Laurel. Here they get the opening stun. Boris Strike into the bushwhack. Rolling Thunder. Ice Puff as well. Not a chance for Lal. And off this Ember Spirit setting up for the tier one tower to go down in the mid lane. PSG Quest getting a nice advantage now. Up to 5k gold lead. They're answering the Ember Spirit beautifully. And now potentially another move. Noob, he's everywhere. He is. As soon as you see him make a play in the mid lane, he's straight away down bottom setting up for Omar to help find the setup. It's another one for Noob. And potentially even another one. He's got a blink stun. Yep. And he goes again. Gets the catch on a collapse. Collapse can't get a split off. Oh, they're running away with this early game. And an instant smoke to keep applying the pressure. PSG Quest has ramped the speed up from that last game massively. Yeah, this is wild. And they're doing this all whilst of course, TA2000. Are they going to find him again? Surely not. They get the power strike, the, the ice spot. Start. They're going to find him again. Lal's game now getting completely annihilated Hi, by PSG Quest. Noob is just absolutely dominating. This is crazy. They were just ready to pull it out in case of emergency. <laughs> You know, and that happened, obviously, game two, they lost, they lose that game, they're going home. So he... That was the time to bring out the special stuff here. Yep, looking at everything in the side of this tournament, yeah, it doesn't look like he's played. Let me get to the play-ins as well, because I don't believe he played in the play-ins. Nope, oh. this, yeah, these, this is the first day he's playing. Spirit, they're going to try for a fight, yeah. They're going to lift the guns, but he can't the power strike of the push one. They're going to send him onto the two, then they're going to lift the burst through Lol. Lol, he's gone. The split the will go off. But Noob has a Bloodstone already. I mean, they have to run. Collapse has to split and run. They chase him down. They kill him through the split. They got to all run on Spirit. I Noob just tanks through everything, and he's barely even hurt. 10k lead. TA2000 in the top spot. They've got Greaves on Malik with a blink, too, so they always have follow-up for every team as fight. Well, they've got the Orchid set up. Mira's in to help out, though. Collapse. The chance to split before the song, song comes into play. Can they do anything about Tier 2000? He's got backup. He did have the option to TP out, but he wants to stick around and fight. Backup comes in for Quest. They get the here. jump straight away onto the Rubik. Mirror's out. Collapse Lull. is dead. I mean, Lark comes flying across the team fight. He's going to have to TP out in the trees. He does not want to be a part of this and decollapse. Dead again. 
they're not. When was the last time they got a kill? And these are painful deaths, you know, the Collapse keeps getting very close to the Radiance. I can only imagine he would have actually had the gold for this, because he's going to have to go in about 10 gold time. 13k lead here for PSG Double Quest. It's just the fact that they're they're, they're just they're growing the lead. It's not like it's staying stagnant at any moment no, they're getting ever. they're so much it's done. growing and growing and growing. And yeah, Noob is just, he's everywhere. Look, he shows to... The heat map must just be ridiculous. He's absolutely everywhere. And oh, Song... Oh, indeed. TA2000. He's found himself a troll warlord in the trees. Silence is in. Radan, extremely dead. And Noob takes the kill. Why not? And it's right next to Roche, too. They can easily bring this one down with their farm, and no way for Team Spirit to contest. This one is getting out of the realms of control, really, for Team Spirit, even if they can get the itemization for some of these heroes that can deal with them. By the time they get some, uh, uh, to kill one of the cores. You just gotta. Keep hitting creeps, hope for the best to prepare for the high ground defense. Yeah, because if you don't, I mean, if you don't 100 to 0 them, it's yep. very likely that they're just going to have the song that comes in, resets the fight, and then they just slam you down. It's Poshka. Noob's ready to go. He's gone. Happy to drop ults for this. The game's at a pace where, you know, Quest, they know that they don't need ults to kill people in team fights, so solo opportunities arise. They'll pop an ult or two, get an easy kill, keep the pressure on. Oh, and I, I love, if Noob does go down the route of this Hex too, then he's got even more control to be able to deal there. with this Ember. Oh, Laurel. Is he going to step up? They're ready for him. That's immediately. Omar's in with this. He cut the tree. Ooh, he's able to cut the tree, but the burst strike, ice path, and rolling thunder still connect, and that's enough to take him down. They'll ping one of those wards immediately, but the ward has already done its damage. They'll be able to poke high ground, force the glyph. TA2000's in the area if they do want to continue forcing here. Couldn't ask for better plays coming out from PSG Quest in this one. I mean, both games just flawless movements. Still I think no BKB on Laurel. I mean, they're smoking up, but what was the plan here? Since an Aegis, the Aegis still there for a minute. It's not like it's even close to expiring. They... Radon, he spotted. They found him in the trees. Start to poke around with him, see if they can get that BKB off. There's going to be the Rolling Thunder coming across. He's going to get stuck for now, Malik. Radon, now put the BKB in. Looks done. Got to make the move over towards Malik, but Malik's pretty tanky. He's finally able to break out of that part around the crystals. The roots come in. They may just be able to kill Malik off. Is he actually going to survive through this? No. They've killed Malik off on the panel. It's there, and now with the BKB and the ult already used, there's little left for Radan to keep himself safe with. Tier 2000 moves in. Bar strike from Noob to take him Radan down. It's very desperate moves that Spirit's trying to get some type of and moves Laurel, here, but Laurel... They've got him as well. The ensnare at the Ice Path. Macropire takes him out. Tip TA2, yeah, I mean, if TA2000 wants to play T Naga Siren, pick him Naga Siren. I give him every game, honestly. Yeah, they just play so well around it. Because they've just, well, I mean, he hasn't had to do too much in this game, but it, it maybe just gives them that confidence sure. to be able to play like this. Because they've just played us four beautifully, and they know that they have the insurance policy of a Naga free farming the yeah. entire time during And it's not like he's completely ignoring fights. No, right? not involved in like half of them. He's there when they need tr it. Very true. And he is finding these solo pickoffs too, and yeah, the songs have been beautiful as Collapse. Passes his gem off to his courier to make sure that he doesn't even give that off. And oh, now they'll get the kill. Tries with the TP out, but indeed the Yule Scepter's there. Collapse, he's got no split, he's got no TP. As they'll slowly, but surely, bring down the brew yet again. Godlike. Godlike. Noob here. 28 minutes in. Absolutely making a case for a Sanking. Yeah. This Sanking, it's, it has to be one of the better performances. We've seen a lot of Sanking. We've seen a lot of very good performances, but which they may get, because PSG Quest, once they do have quite the lead, I don't think they're going to feel any need to rush. No, definitely don't need to rush it too much here. But if you see anybody step out, you'll kill them. But yeah, they can just keep all these lanes shoved in, because there's just no way that they can push out these Naga Siren Illusions at this point on the side of Team Spirit. So they're, yeah, they're essentially trapped inside their base. Jumping they have to the change line. Line. He's got the side. He's got the ice path. He's just gone. He does have buyback available. The pipes have been done now on Collapse. He has the primal split. Malik, he's gone pretty deep with this one. TH2000 is going to use the song for now to reset. Hey, Bruce split was used. He just resets away. The strongest teamfight ability that Team Spirit has has now been used. I won't be able to start anything here. I'm going to have to sit back and indeed wait again for Quest to approach. Collapse stepping outside of the base to get Mira the catch up to Mira. Out. Nice bar for Macropire laid down. Mira's yeah. gone. No buyback for him. And Laurel might be forced to use BKB. Okay, he'll be able to get himself the high ground. Bit scary for a second there. And 40 seconds, no Rubik. And they can just keep, keep every single one of these lanes pushing in. Double, double catapults are coming in too. 
Nope. Just pump faking. How do they go about this team spirit? Five man spirit into kill the everybody but the TA somehow. Hope for the hope and dream. That's really all it feels like. Because now also the Naga Siren has a butterfly, so you can't actually hit her anyway as this ET or anything anyway, even if you had any hope. So have to kill the rest of the target somehow. Rax is getting whittled down. Double catapults are still alive. They even kill the catapults, they'll have to use the glyph. They know they'll get it refreshed anyway. Good job. Go for collapse. The loads us off. The health splits are down. The posture steps up and indeed with the Yules. Noob's able to avoid the initial attempt to fight back. They're chasing Takalis out of the back of the fight. They will get it. Noob, borrow strike out on the two of them. He's got ages still. Indeed, he's holding his ground. We'll get caught by the stun here from the primal split. He's forced down to low ground. Noob's able to break away from this. Radan, he's in. But Maui and Alt stepping forward. Resets away. And here comes Noob. Was there any way to get him out of this? He's going to get caught by the jump back in from Noob. Radan's gone. 80 seconds without him. Noob's able to step over towards Mirror as well. They'll take out the Rubik. Slowly but surely. I mean, the Glimmer's there. They're stepping in. Burr strikes back up. Mirror indeed down and out for 50. And with the song set up, TA2000, they're ready to go for the killing blow. The Insnare onto Lyle. Immediate execution there off the Ember Spirit. And now for Collapse, they're going to have him as well as this game. It's Surely, it's going to be seconds. over in a matter of seconds as PSG Quest. They're going to look to clean up the base first. They couldn't even kill Noob's Aegis. They tried. Through the splitter, they threw everything. He gets the Yules, resets. They chase the supports in the back lines, but Noob resets the fight beautifully. The epicenter comes through. Look up just the one buy back here from Collapse. The other three don't have any way back into the game. As PSG Quest onto the tier fours. Malik ready in with the jump. They've got the ensnare set up into the Rolling Thunder. Noob's in. An insane amount of magical damage. The stomp does come out. It's the three of them from Aposhka. But he, he cannot save Collapse. Collapse is gone. The push continues from PSG Quest as the Ancient now exposed. Malik wanting to get some more kills to close this game up with. They get the jump on Tamira. Rubik dead yet again. On to the Ancient. This game, it's over. GG is called Spirit. They're knocked out of the competition, and PSG Quest, they'll get to move on here in the lower bracket. In, a, in such beautiful performance, right? The first game, it was over in 10 minutes. Spirit completely smacked them down. PSG Quest adapt. They go for the sanking on new back-to-back -back games. Wow. And what a performance. He absolutely dumpsters the That's game. That's crazy. 10-0-20. He was everywhere, Owen.